And now we move on to our sudden story. Sylvester Aramone Jr., a 12-year-old student at Darwin College in Lagos, was allegedly bullied and attacked for refusing to join a cult. Now, the Lagos State Government shut down the school for a coroner's inquest at uh, the late Aramone's family sought to address and a coalition of group held a procession rally in Lagos demanding justice for the deceased. Uh, what I think this Romani case we bring to light is to stop worst and foremost bullying in schools. Most school authorities don't know, some of them know that they bull, there is bullying in school, they turn a left high to it. There are children that have been bullied and they have been beaten and after aftermath of that beating caused their untimely death. This Romani junior case is, should be the first and the last that will happen that a child, a parent sent his uh, child to school to say he's in the body, and the school will just relax and say it doesn't concern them because this person, they are untouchable. Every child should be respected, no matter his or economic status. We would have all gone to worry for the burial of uh, our son today. But we all know that uh, there is insecurity. We don't need to hide, run away from that. But due to insecurity, we decided to hold something similar. So as the press conference and the burial goes on in Wari, simultaneously, we in Lagos, we the brothers, the brethren of Sylvester Romani family, decided, felt it necessary to also, instead of going, taking all, everybody on the road to Wari, we said we can do our own thing here simultaneously. The city, the, 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 the local government headquarters of where they are burying him is worried. But the village won't disclose. Now the group determined to score justice for the boy's death from November 30th, 2021 until his burial has been actively seeking speedy resolution. And we believe that with the court, running to the court is the best place and that this country, I believe, should have respect for the sanctity and dignity of human life. That is why they must not trivialize this issue, this case. Justice delayed is justice, justice denied. denied. We waited for over two years, and the soul, the spirit of the boy was going around. Some of us were seeing him in our, in our dreams, and we prevailed on the father nope. to let this boy rest in peace. Otherwise, we're going around traditionally. Yes. If it's not laid to rest, the spirit will be wandering, will be going around. Mm. And it's not good for our tradition. Anybody can fall victim. If he thinks, if he thinks the parents didn't protect him when he was alive, then they'll be having nightmares. If he thinks the brothers and sisters abandoned him under this circumstance that his life was cut short, they'll be seeing him in, the, in, in their dreams. Some of them can appear in the daytime. So the best way to let this matter rest at this particular point is to bury him so that uh, his soul will rest in peace. Young, vibrant, intelligent boy that left home so healthy only for the mother to be crying today. Please, I'm begging, give justice to this family, please. Please. Because every day you see the woman, the woman is crying for her son. She's crying every day. She's crying. We are begging the court that please give justice to the Romanist family. You must respect life, that must, respect must give it to human life. That's one of the lessons we are learning from Mr. Romanist case. Justice is another thing we are seeking for. Nobody's above the law. The law should have its cause. We, whoever is uh, gullible, should be. Taken. We are not detected for the court. The court should do their job. We are still saying justice delayed is justice denied. And uh, may it so rest in perfect peace. Now we've gone. Hello. Hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.